If naval architects took no proper measures for fire division, a fire could easily spread through different compartments of a ship, causing total devastation in no time. Fire spreads on board ships, as in other types of structures, by conduction, convection, as well as heat radiation. Luckily, the International Maritime Organization puts rules in place for the subdivision of ship spaces to prevent such disastrous spread in the event of fire. Depending on the fire risk, compartments on a ship must be divided by bulkheads and decks of different standards of fire safety. You can find the rules for fire division of ship spaces in Regulation 9 of Chapter 2 of the International Convention on the Safety of Lives at Sea, in short SOLAS 74. According to the resistance against fire and smoke, fireproof subdivisions are categorized as Class A, B or C. A-class divisions are made of steel or an equivalent material capable of withstanding fire for at least 60 minutes without allowing flames or smoke to pass through. Class B and C divisions may be made out of other fire resistance material than steel. Materials used for Class A and B divisions must fulfill the requirements of the standard fire test described in the IMO FTP code. The standard fire test consists of a furnace which can provide controlled fire and heat conditions. The test sample, such as the bulkhead panel in this example, closes the furnace and the test fire is ignited. Elements used in the construction of A-class division must withstand the test fire conditions for at least 60 minutes without allowing flames or smoke to pass through. The average temperature on the unexposed side of the test sample must not rise more than 140 centigrade above the original temperature within a given period of time. At the same time, at no point must the temperature exceed 180 centigrade above the original temperature. Depending on the test period, divisions are classified as A60, A30, A15 and A0 respectively. B-class divisions are constructed of materials that are capable of withstanding exposure to the test fire for at least 30 minutes, without allowing flames or smoke to pass through. Similar to the temperature threshold of A-class divisions, there are the classifications B-15 and B-0. In the case of B-15 classification, the temperature must not reach the threshold on the unexposed side before 15 minutes. C-class divisions are divisions constructed of approved non-combustible materials. They need to meet neither the requirements relative to the passage of smoke and flame nor limitations relative to the temperature rise. A-class divisions are typically found in areas of the ship where high-risk materials or equipment are stored, such as engine rooms, cargo holds, or the bridge. B-class divisions are found in the less critical areas, such as the accommodation spaces and corridors. If you want to know which kind of division is mandatory for a certain compartment, you can find the standards in the tables provided in SOLAS 74. There are different fire division standards for dry cargo ships, tankers and passenger ships carrying up to 36 passengers and passenger ships carrying more than 36 passengers. For example, on a dry cargo ship, you can find from this table here that accommodation spaces must be separated from corridors by a B0 division. The galley, which counts as a high-risk service space, must be separated from corridors by an A0 division. The engine room must be separated, for example, from the engine control room, which counts as a control station, by an A60 division. Let's summarize. Shipboard spaces must be separated by fire divisions to prevent the spread of fire and smoke. Fire divisions are categorized as A, B and C divisions. Class A divisions must be able to prevent the spread of fire and smoke for at least 60 minutes. Class B divisions must be able to prevent the spread of fire and smoke for at least 30 minutes. Class C divisions must be constructed of fire-resistant materials with no further requirements. The number behind the fire class indicates the time the insulation fulfills the temperature threshold of the standard fire test. For example, A30 means that the temperature on the unexposed side of a Class A element does not rise above the temperature limit within at least 30 minutes. We hope you found this video useful to improve your fire safety knowledge. Please stay tuned and check out the other resources on our channel. 
We wish you fair winds and safe voyages and hope to welcome you back on board soon. See you next time.